Hello everyone, myself Hardik Shetty, pursuing first year B in Sri Venteshwara College of Engineering, Vidyanagar, Bangalore. Today we are going to discuss about recycling program elements, which is very necessary for current generation. Today our main agenda is discussing about recycling program and their elements like source separation, curbside program, material recover facilities, and full stream processing, drop off or buyback, storage and collection of recyclables, collection vehicles for recycling, processing equipment for recycling. Now, what is recycling program? Recycling programs are designed according to the needs and priorities of the communities. Now, the elements of a recycling program include source separation, drop off or buyback, curbside collection program, storage and collection of recyclables, collection vehicles of recycling, material recover facilities, and full stream processing. Now, the first recycling program element is source separation. Source separation refers to the segregation of the recyclable and reusable materials at the point of generation. Source separation may be voluntary or mandated and is done in conjunction with several recycling programs. The next element is drop-off or buyback. A drop-off program requires resident to separate the recyclable materials and bring them to a specified or collection center. A recycle center can be established at the same location where residents deliver waste. Mobile recycling drop-off trailers can also be used. The next element is curbside program, which is very important. In a curbside system, source separated recyclables are collected separately from regular refuse from the curbside array or commercial facility. Curbside programs vary greatly from community to community. Some programs require resident to separate different materials that are stored in their own containers and collected separately. The other programs use only one container to store recyclables or two containers, one for paper and the other for heavy recyclables like glass, aluminium, etc. The next element is storage and collection of recyclables. Collection of source separated material is a necessary component of a recycling program. Some principles of sound recyclable storage and collection should be understood while developing a program and this includes resilient convenience, collection crew convenience, cost effective, integrity of materials. Now, what is resilient convenience? It is an easier way and it is for residents to separate materials. The higher the participation will be higher the recovery rates. Next, collection crew convenience. It is a very important because this system should be convenient for all collection crews. For example, loading and sorting activity should be simple as possible. Next, cost effective. Maximize collection crew and vehicle productivity with a minimum cost is called as a cost effective. Next, integrity of materials. The storage and collection system should be keep recyclables in the best shape possible. It should be properly handled, dry and contaminant free. The next element is collection vehicles for recycling. Collection vehicles that are designed specifically for collecting recyclables have several storage bins which can be easily loaded and often equipped with automatic connector tipping devices. Although these modified vehicles may still be considered as options, a dedicated close body collection vehicle for recycling with sufficient capacity offers such significant advantages as easy loading and unloading. Flexible compartments and protection from weather, of course, this warrants a substantial initial investment. The next element is processing equipment for recycling. Recycling involves a number of processing techniques and this process requires different equipments. However, some of the special equipments used in recycling are balers, can densifiers, glass crushers, magnetic separators, hood grinders, 
and skills. Now, what is balers? Balers can be used to densify many types of materials, including paper, cardboard, plastics, and cans. Next, can densifiers. Can crushers are used to densify aluminium and steel cans prior to transport. Next, glass crushers. These are used to process glass fraction separated by color and break it into small pieces. And these small pieces are also used to recycle for new glasses. Next, magnetic separators. These are used to remove ferrous material from a mixture of materials. Next, wood grinders. These are the chippers and are used to shred large pieces of wood into chips that can be used as mulch or as fuel. Next, skills. These are used to measure the quantity of materials recovered or sold. Next, material recovery facilities, which is a very important element. It is also called as MRF. MRF is a centralized facility that receives, separates, processes, and markets recyclable material. Implementation of MRF in a municipality depends upon a number of factors as follows market demand, separate collection, number of different recyclables quantities of materials. Next, full stream processing. It is the last element but is very important element. This is a high technology separation technique which processes all components of municipal waste. The materials recovered by this process tend to be of lower quality than those recovered or so separated in MRF because the former is a mix of various types of waste. However, this technique remains attractive because it does not require source separation and it is used in the following applications like refused derived fuel preparation, municipal waste compositing, material recovery. Now, what is refused derived fuel preparation which is also called as RDF preparation? In this application, it is used to extract the combustible portion of municipal waste. Next. Municipal Waste Composting In this application, it is used to concentrate the compostable portion of municipal solid waste. Next, Material Recovery In this application, it is used to recover and resell certain materials. Next, the characteristics or tools used to separate the materials. Rotating screens are used to separate materials of different sizes. Hair classifier is used to separate the lighter material. Heavy fraction is mechanically or manually sorted to recover sealable materials such as cardboard, etc. Ferrous materials is extracted using a magnetic system. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you. For more video, subscribe to my channel and please like and share the video.